All right, so we have Cassie Johnston, Executive Director of Alstrom Angels, and the one spearheading the Milestones Development Play Park campaign. It's an exciting time. The ground's been broken, dirt's moving, and events like tonight only serve to further that purpose. So what all do we have left to raise the money for? The only thing we have left to raise money for are the inside play structures, which is about $400,000. We are complete with all the money needed to build and construct the building itself. We just need the big play structures. So we are almost there. And like you said, we've already broken ground. We're starting the building process and trying to finish that last little bit while we're doing it. I was just there earlier this afternoon and to be in process at all is just exciting to see. Yes, it is very exciting. We've had, as soon as they started moving dirt, we had people texting and emailing, letting us know, we saw, we saw the machine, they're moving dirt, construction started. So I, I feel like it's exciting for other people in the community too, who are, have been waiting for us to get to this point. It, it's a big deal because as as we've talked about several times, and I know I've told a lot of people, it's a good way for people of all abilities to come together and be able to play as one. Yes, absolutely. It's milestones. The whole just heart and soul of, of the concept of milestones is every child can play together. So the equipment in the park is made to be accessible for kids with special needs, kids with disabilities. It's made with them in mind. But Milestones is not just for children with special needs. It's for every child, for every family, to be able to come in and play and you know learn how to play with kids who might be a little bit different than them. That's, that's very exciting. Cassie, thank you as always. We have three little ones, and when I was pregnant with our third, we decided to kind of put down some roots in Lubbock uh, from here, um, and my husband was like, let's stay here. And so he challenged me to research organizations and ways to give back to our community and to really get involved and to model that behavior for our children. So I started researching a little bit, doing some Google searches, talking to friends, and I came across Austrom Angels. And I was like, that sounds like really interesting. I found Cassie's email address and I emailed her and just asked her if she would like to go to lunch sometime. And so we met for lunch. I was pregnant with our third um, and our little girl that time. And I just had tears in my eyes the entire time that I had lunch with Cassie, thinking about what she had experienced with Bryce and the challenges of being a mother in general. And then Ostrom on top of that, my heart just really went out to her and um, just thinks about Bryce and wanting to get involved. Um, and so we really have been involved from the beginning. And during that first email exchange I had with Cassie, I noticed the signature on her email. And it said, drop by drop, we make a lake. And that really stuck with me ever since that day. And I've thought about you guys being here as a drop into the lake that's going to make milestones. And it, really, really spoke to me, and I was just really excited to get involved, and so I want you to know that you're here, you're making a difference, and it's going to be a really, really amazing thing to be involved in. We're super excited. Cassie and her team, um, they've worked their tails off, and y'all, the lake is filling up, and it's really, really exciting to watch. Um, every single dollar that you donate tonight is going to go toward the play structures, towards the equipment, um, so your money is making a difference and we just appreciate so much you being here and giving back to this cause. Um, we're making a lake guys and the fruits of their labor are getting really exciting and so we're happy to share in this with them. Thank you for being here. So Jason Waters is with our host venue in J Smokehouse at Spirit Ranch. Tell us a bit about your dish. All right, um, well tonight I prepared a classic beef wellington, um, but I did smoke the beef tenderloin first because we are a smokehouse, you know, I'm going to keep with that trend. Uh, it's going to be on a bed of rosemary mashed potatoes, comes with an ancho chili hollandaise sauce, and some heirloom carrots as a garnish. Jolena Carter is with Berkeley Hill Vineyards. They are our featured vintner this year as they were in 2019.
So tell us a little bit about the wine that are being paired with tonight's courses. Yeah, absolutely. So first up we have our 2017 Malbec. So this is a full bodied red wine, very, very delicious, chocolate like tannins. So it is one of our wines that has actually stayed in the barrel the longest. Um, so it was in the barrel right at two years and um, it's gonna go really, really excellent with the Beef Wellington tonight. Hello, I'm Bobby Bridges uh, from Berkeley Hill Vineyards. Uh, tonight for I have prepared for y'all a uh, roasted duck, smoked, and it has a fennel mint puree, uh, cherry gas streak, and some roasted duck confit carrot. And uh, hope y'all enjoy it, and thanks for letting me be able to do this. Y'all have a good night. So next up is our 2019 Courtney. So this is our Chardonnay. It has notes of green apple, peach, and with just a hint of oak in there. So a lot of people are used to that traditional, very buttery Chardonnay. Ours is not quite that. It is very, very tasty, and it's gonna go really well with Chef Bobby's dish. So we have Chef Matt Lopez from Las Brisas Steakhouse, a seasoned veteran for these events. What do you have in store for us tonight, Matt? Tonight we're doing a smoked lamb barbacoa with salsa pipian. Pipian is a pumpkin seed ground up into a green salsa, mulato adobo, pickled habaneros, and fresh corn tortillas with a little cotija cheese. Okay, next up is our Montepulciano. This one is a medium bodied red wine with hints of blackberries. So this one is just a all around great sipping run. You don't have to pair it with anything to actually enjoy it. Okay, so what we did, we've got some uh, hickory smoked pork belly with grilled octopus, chorizo smoked garlic potatoes, and a hazelnut pesto. Enjoy. So our 2020 Rosé is one of our very first wines that was fermented in the Crest Building in downtown Lubbock. This dry, very fruit forward, almost like a watermelon candy wine, um, is going to go very, very good with Chef Tony's meal. Tasha Teal from the Cakery is another veteran of these events, always knocking the desserts out of the park. What do you have in store for us tonight? Tonight we did a smoked cheesecake with a maple bourbon peach glaze and some candied pecans on top. It's super yummy. Oh, and we smoked the cheesecake so the smoke infused into the actual cheesecake itself. It's really good. Sounds absolutely delicious. I'm, I'm excited. Me too. Our 2018 dessert Riesling is our very first dessert wine. It is fortified with brandy. It has a slightly, a little bit elevated alcohol content over traditional wines. It's super, super good. It goes very well with cheesecakes. And tonight we are enjoying a smoked cheesecake that it's gonna pair really well with. Okay, there we go. How has dinner been, you guys? And uh, you know, we didn't talk about this earlier, but everything you had tonight, you if you go into their restaurant tomorrow, you cannot order this on their menu. It was made for you for tonight. So let's give let's give all of our chefs a round of applause. <laughs> Bryce was diagnosed when she was three. Um, Alstrom syndrome is incredibly rare. There have only been four children in the state of Texas ever to be diagnosed, and Bryce is one of those four. There have been just over 1,100 in medical history throughout the world. It is one of the rarest of rare diseases. It's actually considered an orphan disease because it's so rare, most doctors have not heard of it. Um, and when Bryce was diagnosed, you heard Jennifer, um, I think Jennifer talked about it earlier, that there was less than $100,000 every year to research treatments and a cure for kids like Bryce. Not because it isn't an important disease, just because people haven't heard of it. And you can't help something if you haven't heard of it. So that's why our family started Alstrom Angels, to raise awareness and raise funds for research to help kids like Bryce. So that was when she was three. She is 12 now. She is in the seventh grade at Cooper Middle School, Lovett Cooper Middle School. 
She is involved in student council. She is in STEM class. She is representing her school as a seventh grade cheerleader. Yes, and she just came tonight from her all-star cheerleading practice for cheer abilities at Ultimate Cheer Lubbock. to mention the things that, that Bryce does because I want people to know that of everything, all the challenges Alstrom gives her, which is pretty much everything. It causes complete blindness, deafness, type 2 diabetes, congestive heart failure, liver and kidney failure. Alstrom syndrome will touch every organ in Bryce's body. But in spite of that, she tries to do everything a typical seventh grader, 12 year old would do. So she was really excited to be here with us tonight and I'm gonna let her say just a few things to you about Milestones. This is a very important project for Bryce and she's been waiting and waiting and pestering and asking when, when, when. So, um, Bryce, you want to say anything about? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Bryce. Donate. <laughs> visit alstromangels.org for more information about Alstrom syndrome and visit milestonespark.org to help fund the remaining structures.